Good morning, friends. I'm Katie. I'm adding up adding tens. I might be getting a little too ambitious for myself today, but we're gonna see how it goes. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. I'm a mom of eight and I share real life in hopes to encourage you because sometimes life just takes hard work. But I truly believe that you are worth your own hard work. And so I would love if you would subscribe and stick around with us. Today, it is a Monday morning. John is in the mountains for the day. I am here by myself and there is big kitchen project that I have been sort of like imagining and dreaming up since we moved into this house uh, six and a half years ago. And I'm gonna see if I can't like make some progress toward that goal. So we have a sort of great room, like living room, dining, kitchen. Um, but there's a bank of upper cabinets that splits the kitchen from like the eat-in area and the living room. Um, and I would love for it to be open. So what I need to do first uh, is clear all four of those cabinets out. Um, I already did one of the uppers. So I need to clear out our medication cabinet, our office supply cabinet, and then our glasses and cups and water bottles and all the things. And most of it we probably just don't even need to have in there. But um, so that's what I'm working on today. Um, see how far I get and We'll show you the progress at the end of it. Let's do this. All right, so I'm starting with our medicine cabinet. I did this recently, so it wasn't too bad. Um, there were some extra things in there though, so I went ahead and went through those, threw away anything that we didn't need. And you might notice that I'm also teaching a fourth grade geometry class at the same time. So yes, my kids are all home with me throughout this process and uh, we just juggle as we need to. Of course, there is much coffee needed to fuel this endeavor. One down. A lot more to go. This cabinet had a whole lot of randomness in it, mostly office supplies. But in truth, our schoolroom is right adjacent to the kitchen, so none of this needs to be in here, and it was pretty easy to find it all at home. At this point, my kids all started to realize, hey, mom's up to something. So they started hovering around to see what was going on. All right, so my okay, cabinet right. is empty. I have some right. piles of stuff that belong in other places, so. I'm going to take a minute to put everything away where it goes, and then I will probably stop and make my kids lunch. Alright, I forgot to turn the camera back on. But I have all of these cabinets empty. Uh, so let me show you where I'm at. This one's empty. It's all empty. Um, start looking at the structure of these and see how possible it might be for me to just pull them down. So it turned out that the back facing of these cabinets was just held on by finishing nails. So with a screwdriver and a hammer and a little bit of elbow grease, it pretty much all just popped right off. So I went around the outside and took all of the trim pieces off before I worked on prying off that uh, sheet of wood at the back.
so far so good. Yeah. Taking all of these down mostly just involved figuring out how they were all connected to each other and the ceiling. Uh, so once I undid all of the right screws, they came down pretty easily and all uh, still intact. No, I was getting serious when I had to take my sweater off because it was cold outside, but I was breaking a sweat pulling cabinets down. Whew, getting closer. By this point, guys, I was getting so excited. I could start to see through this gap over the counter and I could just tell how open it was gonna feel. I was getting pretty pumped up about it. I'm really sad that my battery died. That was quite an undertaking. First of all, it took me forever to find the right breaker. <laughs> and then there were just like more pieces and more pieces and more pieces of that vent hood to take apart. See what's up here in the soffit and uh, see if I can figure it out. The extension to this air duct was just held on with some duct tape. So once I managed to get that loose and pry it off, I was able to get the longer piece down. I'm going to call it for the day here. Uh, I did get everything down, so stay tuned for uh, To Be Continued. Hey guys, it has been almost two weeks since I took the cabinets down. Um, John got home from the mountains that day and walked in and just stopped and said, whoa, you were serious. <laughs> uh, so he was definitely surprised, uh, but in a good way. He loved it. And now that we have lived with it for about two weeks, we keep, we keep just asking ourselves, why didn't we do this when we moved in? Why did we wait seven years to take these cabinets down um, and in fairness a lot of life has happened in those seven years but it feels so good to have it open and now um, that I have opened up the kitchen and I've started painting the rest of the house I have some grand plans uh, for the kitchen and I'm super excited to share those with you I ended up I painted one of the living room walls but it continues all the way across the back of the house into the kitchen so I went ahead um, and painted as far as where the cabinets are still on the wall um, and then I covered that soffit um, so I am not done with painting the kitchen but I did get that far so I um, spackled all the holes and sanded them down and painted the soffit um, and then I just bought like an air vent cover to put over the vent hood where the vent hood was. Eventually we would like to get a new vent hood. That's not in the cards right now. Um, so I just covered it up. It was less than $10 for a white uh, cover and um, air can still flow through there. So um, it looks a lot better. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about my ability to just sort of start something and see what happens. Uh, so let this be an encouragement to you. If you have a project that you've always sort of dreamed of, maybe give it a shot. Um, ours is not perfect by any stretch, uh, but we love it and it's so much better. So anyway, thanks for being here. We love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below and we'll see you next time. We love you guys. Bye.